Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining our TAG Weekly Wednesday webinar. A few housekeeping items before we begin with Zoom. As an attendee, your microphones will be muted, but you may utilize Zoom to raise your hand and also provide feedback. We're going to be here every Wednesday morning uh, just going over different resources within our SAGE construction and real estate software products. So today's topic is going to be a SAGE 100 contractor module called Project Scheduling. Uh, we are recording this presentation, so look out for this recording on YouTube as well as through email for anyone um, on your team that may have missed it and would like to um, review this information. I'm Leilani Evans, Construction Software uh, Sales Associate at TAG. Um, we are going to also be opening this up for Q&A to any of our attendees who um, might be curious about some more um, aspects of what we're talking about today or um, in relation to any other Sage 100 contractor um, related topics. So anything in, really, in uh, regards to document management, timekeeping, anything like that, there's a ton of, this, of uh, benefits that this software product can offer your teams. Um, so I would love to get you all the information to allow you to really tap into all of those benefits. Okay, so we will get started here. Oops, okay. So we'll get started here. Again, we're talking about um, module 10 within uh, project management. It's called project scheduling uh, within Sage 100 Contractor. We're just going to be going over sort of the who, um, what, and why of this module. Just in high level overview, uh, we'll be talking about who might benefit from using this feature, um, what is this module, what's all of its capabilities, and why you should really take advantage of um, all of these features that it gives you. It's a small piece of um, project management, but it is uh, pretty powerful if you really utilize um, it to its fullest. Um, it pairs most beneficially with SAGE um, estimating basic within SAGE 100 contractor. So if you are utilizing that, it really allows you to um, enhance all of that project management um, related to the takeoff that you do within basic estimating. So um, let's move on here. Uh, well, let me uh, just kind of go through a little bit more here. Um, with um, 10 three schedules, which is this screen that you see here, you can create a schedule to plan and manage a project. And it doesn't matter how big or small, this will handle all of the project scheduling. This schedule allows you to budget time, uh, plan when some tasks begin in relation to other tasks. It allows you to set milestones, set up tasks for billings or inspections, and really identify uh, scheduling conflicts between all of the resources. You can analyze the accuracy of time estimates, track the progress of jobs, and adjust tasks or resources easily to keep projects on schedule. Resource allocation to individual tasks provides you with another tool for planning and managing a project. Um, after the client approves the schedule, you can allocate the equipment, subcontractors, and employee resources. So we'll get into that um, in a little bit here. There are also a lot of um, reporting features that this, um, this uh, module will allow you to do related to project scheduling. So we'll talk about all of those. Um, and over the course of the project, you can enter the progress of work by changing the duration of those tasks pretty easily. Um, we'll go into that as well. And it also offers you this pretty uh, Gantt view um, where you can review the project, see the effects of gains or delays, and then determine the best course of action to keep your project on schedule. So moving on, we'll go to the next slide here. 
Um, so again, as I said before, this um, project scheduling feature really has tight integration with Stage 100 Contractor Estimating Basic. Now that's the estimating module within the accounting system, um, different from uh, the Stage Estimating that's offered, so which is a little bit more robust. So again, I would encourage all of our accounting um, users to really tightly integrate their estimators and project managers. That's the whole benefit and point of this all-in-one system that um, takes advantage of everything in one database. It allows you to import these tasks automatically from your takeoff. So once you've built out that takeoff um, and uh, noted all of the tasks related to each part, then um, you can uh, easily import, um, as you can see here on the right hand side, you go up to options, import, and then you can bring over your takeoff tasks from there. So you'll click on that and all of the following data will populate. So everything from task, task description, the type, uh, the duration, uh, the vendor, and then the start and finish of the relationship. You can then start building uh, out more detail from there and um, really uh, kind of streamline uh, the process between um, being awarded, uh, you're estimating and then being awarded the, the job there. Okay, so let me go here to the next slide. Okay, so um, who? Who will benefit the most from this feature? So really, I would say everyone involved on this project, if you're using this, would really benefit um, because of the automation that it offers. So employees are gonna be on task, um, all of your uh, equipment resources will be here, um, your uh, subcontractors and vendors will really have a, a lot of communication that's automated through using this, but project managers, your operations and your dispatchers will really be the ones um, kind of in and in and out of this um, feature here. So um, again, by scheduling resources through this module, you can locate the conflicts between resource assignments, again, making it beneficial to everyone involved on the project. Um, you can assign the employees, empl equipment, and subcontractors to the tasks in each phase of the project. So you, you're seeing here kind of a blank slate um, of this schedule. So you could see, again, there's some customization that you can do. Um, you can hide columns and things like that. So um, uh, one note though, it, resource scheduling does not automatically warn you of potential conflicts. So when you're um, utilizing this, you're going to want to produce schedules um, from the resource reports in, within scheduling. Um, and then you can compare resources. But again, staying on top of um, any conflicts and being able to communicate automatically to everyone um, on the project to really keep people um, on task. Okay, moving on. So um, the next piece here is what? What is this module? What, what are all of its capabilities? Um, again, this scheduling piece really benefits from using one of the add-on modules, basic estimating, which doesn't come standard with your core um, license. However, project scheduling does. So you can still manually build out your schedules um, without importing it. You also have the capability to import from um, an outside file, so you can also import that way if you're not using estimating basic. But this will really um, just allow you to pull in um, sort of that, that automation between all of your vendors in your database, your subcontractors, so you can just generate a whole mess of items with a couple of click, clicks of a button. And again, that's the same benefit to using estimating as well. Um, so we're really big on automation. Make your job as easy as possible, and that's what this is gonna help you do going to help you stay on top of things. It'll give you a nice pretty Gantt chart view, allow you to, to manage these tasks across multiple projects. Um, again, milestones, billing, and material orders, 
you can produce call lists and subcontractor notices. Again, you can produce hundreds of these with a couple of clicks of a button, as long as your schedule is um, built out. So if there's a delay on a project, you want to note no, uh, you want to uh, print a notice for all of your subcontractors that are going to be affected. You know, that's a daunting task that can be really streamlined to be just a couple of clicks. Um, you can adjust the schedule and the Gantt chart to reflect change orders. And then um, it allows you to keep all the project information handy in a central location with the project work center, which again, tightly integrated with the rest of Stage 100 contractor. Huge huge benefit there. Um, co another cool thing that I uh, forgot to mention is the fact that you can easily uh, drag and drop, um, move, resize on the Gantt chart um, any schedule changes. So it's a really nice, easy way to, to make um, adjustments quickly. Okay, so next piece of this is why. Why should you take advantage of this module? Again, if I haven't laid out enough for you, um, these are all the items that um, are available uh, within uh, the scheduling here that I'm just kind of listing out. It kind of speaks for itself here. Your subcontract notices, again, creating all of that, automating everything so that you can um, easily get out information and communicate with your subcontract, your subcontractors and vendors. Um, you can manage all of your scheduled tasks and um, maintain those so that you can easily build out a schedule um, when a project is awarded. You have all those tasks built out. You've got all these resource reports that will allow you to um, manage conflicts. You have your call sheet, your Gantt chart, um, you've got, um, again, more reports, cash flow, critical path. It really allows you to stay on top of everything. So a lot of, um, a lot of our users, our Stage 100 contractor users, may not be taking advantage of all of this. Um, it's something that would take a little bit of time to implement just by setting up you know, all of your tasks and things like that. But once it's set up, it truly will speed things up for you, allow you to stay on top of things. Um, I can't re reiterate it enough. So I will move on here to the next slide um, with just a couple of tips here um, that are recommended by Sage. So I've listed them out here, review schedules daily. So um, it's a good idea to review the schedule each day. The duration of a task can change due to a variety of circumstances like weather, supplier delays, um, or manpower shortages. As those delays occur, extend the duration of the affected tasks. And that, again, is easily done by dragging and dropping it. You, you, you click mode, and then it allows you to, to be able to resize those tasks. That's something you can just drag and drop to the right um, duration. So uh, likewise, if things get um, completed ahead of time, you can shorten those durations so that um, everyone is moving on task. Okay, um, also uh, another note, tip call to notify subcontractors of schedule changes twice a week. So twice a week, determine which tasks will be performed and then uh, over the next two weeks, continue to call the subcontractors with um, and material suppliers associated with those tasks um, to remind them of when they're expected to arrive. So just keeping everybody on task again. Um, if those dates have changed, make sure you you um, continue to inform affected subcontractors and mat material suppliers again. Um, the next tip is to print and mail notices weekly, and that's something that. Uh, can easily, quickly be done through Sage 100 contractor scheduling. So uh, you'll be able to just send out those update notices through the system to, again, the subs and suppliers um, within the next two weeks, and you can easily make this um, a more automated process for you with scheduling. And then the last tip here is to review with customers weekly. So you can utilize the reports and schedules out of the system 
to meet with clients. Um, recommendation is um, uh, either twice a month or weekly to discuss, you know, how the project's going, actual progress, and how it how it compares to the schedule that you originally created. So. Um, at the, those meetings, you can supply them with copies of schedule revisions and um, and really be able to, to have all of those um, open communication lines. You can avoid um, potential conflicts and really help clients um, make good decisions based on um, you know how how things are going. Okay, so that is pretty much it. I haven't seen any questions come through the um, chat box. So if there are no questions, feel free to um, email. My email is lanelawney.evans at teamtag.net. I look forward to hearing from you. And if you'd like any more information about how this works, if you'd like a more a full demo with one of our consultants, we are happy to help. Um, you can use the same email address to, to uh, contact me and we can discuss more. Thanks so much um, for everyone uh, for tuning in and I hope you have a great week.